my name is Will Etman and this is my partner Austin. The reason why he has his helmet on is because he's living with only half of his skull. I'm Austin Rich. I survived emergency brain surgery. This recently happened and we want to tell you this story and how you can help. It was only a few weeks ago, right? We were in Florida. We were actually vacation for the last three weeks. Um, we were in a tiny house that I recently purchased. Just out living our best life, hanging out in nature, um, going to the beach. Austin also uh, was skating. His birthday was recently, so I bought him some skates. And we were just enjoying ourselves like any other young people would do. I remember like it was yesterday. It was um, around 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Austin actually helps me with my meetings, making sure I'm already prepared, getting me there. And Austin woke up before I did, and he was like, hey, you have a meeting that you need to get to. You're going to be late. So I went to my meeting at a local coffee shop here in the Atlanta area, and I was meeting with my mentor. Within 30 to 40, what, about 30 to 40 minutes, I received a text message from Austin and Austin was, he told me that he had a headache. And in my head while I was in the meeting, I was like, okay, headache, I'll stop by CVS or one of the local pharmacy and get some, get some Tylenol or something because you know, a headache is kind of like normal. And um, within 10 to 15 minutes, I received another text message from Austin and you were like, I was thinking, this headache does not feel like it's normal. Just at least come back when you can and check in. Just make sure I'm at least, you know, awake. Cause it felt excruciating. Yeah, so when I came home after my meeting, I saw Austin here in the couch and he was like, my head is hurting so bad. He was almost on the verge of tears. And well, you were kind of like, you were, you were crying and I was like, Man, I, that must be a bad headache. So we went to a local urgent care, which was not basically down the street, minutes away. That was the first place I could think of just to see, hey, check his vital signs and make sure he's, you know, okay. Because here's the thing, let's let's back up a little bit. Um, I thought, we thought, just just what had happened in the last couple of weeks, I thought it was something from a tick bite. You know, we were living out in nature and being outside in nature, there's always going to be something that you get into. And we know, I know you got bit by a tick and because we were on the beach, we're like, oh, what is that? And in our head, it was like, maybe this is a Lyme disease or something like that, because I know with Lyme disease, one of the symptoms is um, uh, headaches. And also, if you throw up, if you uh, vomit or something like that, that's one of the symptoms as well. So we went to the first urgent care, which is basically down the street from where we live at. And when we went in the urgent care, um, we had signed the form that said he had a headache and he had been nauseous and things like that. And they had asked us to go sit in the car. And the reason why, because we had checked um, the box for headaches and they thought that it could be COVID, but I knew it was not COVID because this is just, it just didn't feel like that. So they made us wait in the car for a few minutes and a doctor or nurse practitioner called on the phone and was telling us that we needed to go to a local um, COVID clinic to get a COVID test and to bring it back. In my head, I'm like, okay, that's a lot. Not everybody has COVID. I know there's a lot of other illnesses and things that are going around. So within a few, few minutes, I called my friend who is a nurse anesthetist um, in Little Rock, Arkansas. And he was telling me while Austin was in the car, he was like, hey, just go to the nearest emergency room. And we headed to the nearest emergency room. And within maybe a couple of minutes while Austin was in the car, he just started, his body basically started convulsing. And I'm in the car shock, frantic, like what's going on with my partner, the guy that I love. And I was like holding his head. I was like, Austin, holding his back. I was like, Austin, breathe, breathe. And he couldn't breathe. And it was terrifying. And we made it into the uh, hospital. The nurse came out. They wheeled him in, in a wheelchair. Um, I was basically like a deer in the headlight. This happened all so fast within 20 to 30 minutes after I received, picked him up at home. And within 20 minutes, I was sitting out in the waiting room. Um, the nurse told me that I could come back 
And when I came back to see Austin uh, land on the hospital bed, um, they had monitors and everything hooked up to him. And the doctor asked me to step out into the hallway for a second because the room was full of nurses, you know, making sure that he's breathing right, checking all his vital signs. And they had did a, I think a CT scan and they had found that Austin had a blood vessel that had ruptured in his brain and that hospital right there couldn't do anything for him. They had to airlift him to another hospital which was about 45 minutes from that hospital to do emergency brain surgery. I woke up in the hospital. I had no idea how I even arrived there or mm -hmm. what took place. I just remember hearing beeping noises, seeing Will, my mom and two sisters. So I was in shock. Like what happened? Can someone catch me up? Mm -hmm. Later, my nurse practitioner and Will and my mom were kind of delaying the process of telling me what all happened, but they told me eventually that I went through emergency brain surgery. And in my head, I'm thinking, what? I just remember <laughs> headache, waking up. My doctor, Dr. Z, said that he doesn't know how to explain this, but he had to flush out blood because a blood vessel had burst in my brain. And he got in right in time before I was able to not drown from the amount of blood that ended up leaking. So what I felt, that headache, was internal bleeding. Is that That's the only thing that we can say happened yeah. and that's what triggered the headache because i remember you saying that you felt like something had exploded mm -hmm. like uh you know in your in your head and i'm like wow because i didn't know how bad your head was hurting when i first saw i knew you had a headache mm -hmm. but i was like it just escalated so quickly um but going back to the hospital seeing seeing, seeing austin land in the hospital bed it was like whoa this is a lot and it all happened so fast um, and his mom and his sister's family was so uplifting um, that uh, throughout the, the, that journey, those last those couple of days that you were in the hospital recovery, because Austin recovery was so quick. How you feel? I'm so excited to leave. Let <laughs> oh, yes. me see you. Let me see your eyes a little bit. Um, there's a lot of people that go through brain surgeries like this and you never know what the outcome is gonna be. If it's gonna be speech delay or something that you know, you're know not able to move like one of your limbs. Um, it could be a lot of things that can happen during brain surgery. And Austin, within a couple of week, a week or so, he was, you know, you know, talking and you know, walking and everything. Welcome back. You want to cry? It's okay. You can cry. I love you. I love you too. But we still have a long ways to go, and that's why we're here making this video. So, one to inform everyone of, you know, just to not just play off headaches but if you have an, a headache you know really go to the emergency room and get a, 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 in, a cat scan mri um, to see what's going on because it could be uh, very dangerous but also you know austin's medical bills you know some insurance did cover some of the things but brain surgery cost a lot so, you know, if you love my channel, love what I do uh, from all my travel adventures, cooking, vegan food, um, just if you can help, if you can show some love uh, and, some, and support, um, because I know I'm going to continue to make videos and you're going to get see, to see this guy as well as some of my videos. And I think that it's going to be a great recovery. Um, but Austin has a long ways to go. Austin, you know, you can show people how what's going on right now, because I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to see you out your helmet and see what's going on. Um, he's living with no skull on this side i uh, i'll show you the before and after pictures before he uh, had the surgery and after right now he wears um this green beanie um but he has to wear his helmet basically everywhere he goes outside um if we go to the grocery store he always has to wear this helmet i know we get funny looks i know sometimes people joke and like hey you know being winter here in atlanta they're like pretty cold outside for a motorcycle ride um but they don't know that he uh has just had brain surgery and he has to protect his head because he doesn't have a bone there so go ahead and show people that it's like half right here 
so turn your head this way so you can see the Austin head is basically over here there's no skull turn your head that way there's basically no skull here so that's his first surgery um, was to repair the blood vessel that had burst um, so what's next is that Austin has to go through another surgery where they're gonna open his head back up and they're gonna put his skull bone back in. And you're probably wondering where is his bone now? His bone is still in the hospital. They have it in a fridge. Um, I think it's frozen most definitely. And they're gonna repair it, you know, um, fuse it back on and he is expected to make a full recovery. But after he gets his, well, uh, his skull back on, at the bone part, um, there's still gonna be a lot of healing time um, that's gonna come from that. Um, so just keep us all in your wishes and send us some love through the internet and make sure you, you know, go and check out the GoFundMe. This is to help with some of the medical expenses and just the day-to-day -day needs because this is a lot for us to go through and you know i make content austin is a dancer amazing dancer he makes content as well um and we're just asking for a little support and if you can share our story um and share it wide with your friends and family and then also you know if you know someone who has been experiencing headaches or anything like that recently make sure they go get that checked out because we wouldn't want this to happen to anyone that supports us because you know we want to live a, a great life and we're both still young and we're still here and um yeah all the love and support we really appreciate it and i want to say thank you for watching this video make sure you go to the gofundme check out me on instagram and also austin is on instagram Instagram and TikTok and we want to say thank you for uh, listening to our story. Austin, anything you want to say? Yes. Thank you all for watching this and thank you for sharing this story. It is a miracle that I am here today and I want it also yeah. to be a miracle and a way that you can prevent any of these situations to happen for yourself. What I felt was a black dot which I believe was the actual burst because I did feel like there had to be some sort of head activity that triggered this headache because I didn't immediately have this headache. So if you do have any migraines that feel not normal from a headache or maybe yeah. you know you may have headaches from you're hungry or you may be lightheaded, if you feel something different, you need to get checked out because you may not know what's going on and you need to have as much information as you ha can have to prevent anything as serious and almost life-changing as what I felt and experienced today. So thank you all and your support is much appreciated even if it's sharing the video or contributing to help with the funds that we need to raise for this. But thank you all so much and it's a miracle and I'm thankful. I'm glad you're here, big guy. <laughs> thank yeah, you I'm, I'm glad I'm here. My story is not done. And we are here to tell more stories and more adventures to come. More. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Peace. Peace.